am a 3DP team. So I've been, uh, I put off filling my ideas for cement printing um, from what I did last year. And I'll put a link to that here. My idea was to put, take the LVE core that Thomas Hunt designed for bioprinting and put that onto a TAS 5 printer and then try and use that to extrude cement onto the build plate. Um, I did some experiments right after that first video. Um, unfortunately, none of them turned out anywhere close to what I wanted and I didn't even remember to film them. So overall, I'll explain in the different parts why that hasn't worked. Um, the LVE core idea might be still be good for things like printing food, like uh, peanut butter or paste um, or frosting or something like that, but not for cement. Uh, the problem is the permeability of cement and mortar mix is too much. On so cement is very permeable and the plunger pushed the liquid out of the cement mix and the mortar that I was trying just and just could not go through the narrow construction. So Thomas Hunt's idea is great for bioprinting, uh, in printing in gels. Unfortunately, it's not good for cement. So um, lesson learned on that. Uh, in the future, I do want to make an auger based system. Um, I have an idea of putting a power drill with some sort of container feeding into that. Um, basically just replicating some of this, a lot of the cement uh, printers that you've seen a lot of college students do already. So that's gonna be a future project. Uh, but for this, I'm just gonna highlight the issues I had in uh, trying to do some experiments and seeing how cement works and how it work in a mold and maybe in printing. So um, I did some outside and some of those are gonna be castings based off what I did in part for um, printing in a TPU mold, link here. And others will be other freehand experiments that, yeah, were mistakes. Stand with 3D PT. Uh, about a year ago, I did some experiments with um, making a cement 3D printer attachment for my uh, desktop. Um, in a minute, I'll show you the progress on that. But I want to show you these experiments first. So I did a couple where I actually tried to replicate a uh, powder bed deposition printer. Um, so basically I ended up freehanding this in a uh, butter tub and basically tried to pour cement, fine sand, and then use a um, mortar, Portland cement to try and cement it together. And so I ended up basically doing it freehand in uh, basically butter tubs for molds and you can see the results here. Uh, these have been outside for uh, almost a year and I didn't film this process because basically I forgot to. Um, and some of these, the other ones, um, these are kind of rejects from when I uh, did the molding projects. Um, so I, this one actually has part of the key box embedded in it. And this one um, actually has layers really clear and it's white because I actually uh, put a little bit of uh, plaster in the mold um, but that made these super super white and stand out so I ended up uh, not using these and a hint is if you do a lot of ca small castings keep some cups nearby and you could pour molds and pour them into cups and uh, you stick an eye bolt in them and turn them into fishing anchors. So these are all the um, kind of reject projects that I did after I tried putting together the cement extruder. Now here's the LVE core fully assembled. Uh, so the motor still attaches to the screw shaft here. Um, the shuttle pushes forward. Um, on the piston I actually had to cut off the original plunger that to focus. I uh, cut the plunger off the original syringe and epoxied it to that. And I also had to epoxy the tubing 
to the nozzle and this I had to uh, significantly work to get to um, get that on. Now you notice there's no cement or anything else inside. My idea of using this to print cement was a complete bust. Uh, this is actually about the fourth syringe I've had to put on this uh, equipment. That's because um, under pressure the water tends to get pushed out of the mortar mix. So I was trying to print just with uh, Portland cement. But when you try and squeeze it under pressure, um, it dewaters. So when it comes out of here, you pretty much just get watery soup. And I wasn't able to get any uh, video of me working that, but I tried a bunch of different mortar mixes. Um, Portland cement was about the close as I could get, but because you're trying to force it through such a narrow aperture here, um, it basically just acted like um, squeezing a sponge and really nothing usable came out. So nothing usable came out of the syringe. This is pretty much a bust. Thank you.